Now I'm going to point out the 11 internal parts of the PC. Number one, the cooling fan assembly. Over here, we have the cooling fan assembly. If I open this cover, you can see the actual fan blade itself. This draws air in from the outside and blows it across here to keep the components cool. Number two, the power supply. In this silver box here, with all the colored cables coming out, this is the power supply. This takes our 230 volts AC mains, steps it down, transforms it, rectifies it into much lower voltages, say 12 or 5 volts DC, because all our electronics components inside the PC work off low voltage DC. Number three, the heatsink, CPU heatsink. This metal piece here, basically that is a radiator that will suck the heat off the CPU chip and dissipate it into the air, cooling it down. It's very important to keep the CPU cool because heat will damage electronics. Number four, the CPU itself. Can't see it at the moment. It's hidden underneath here in the underneath the heatsink. The CPU is the central processing unit. It's where all of the calculations that are done on the PC take place. It's probably the single most important part of the PC. It's your Pentium 4 or your dual core or your triple core processor. Number five is the sound card down here with these two cables going into it. This is our sound card. This is where you plug in your speakers, your microphone, anything to do with the audio system of the PC gets processed in here and sent around in the different parts of the PC. Number five then is our video card just sitting on top here. The video card is responsible for all the images that are displayed on your screen. It's where you plug in your monitor or your projector, whatever it is, just to display the images. Here's our video card. Number seven, the RAM, the random access memory for the PC. And these two vertical columns here, these two components here, are vertical columns of RAM. The RAM stores, it's a temporary store of information. It stores the bits and pieces that you're working on, on your desktop, your Word document that's opened. Number eight, this is the back here of the DVD player with its data cable and its power cable over here. It's where you load in all your CDs and your DVDs. Number nine, if your PC still has one, it's probably outdated at this point, but hidden in the back here is our floppy disk drive, again with a data cable and a power cable over here, this silver unit here. Number 10, the hard disk. This is where all your operating system is stored. It's a permanent store of memory and doesn't lose its memory when the power is switched off. So we have a data cable and a power cable going into it here, our hard disk. And then lastly, number 11 here, our motherboard. This large green board mounted onto the case. It's where all of our other bits and pieces, all the cables are plugged into. It's really the central nervous system of the PC. Those 11 components are the internal parts of a PC.